In this tip of the day, let's take a look at applying toolpath to a fillet using a ball end mill within one CNC. Now in this example, we're going to be applying toolpath to the fillets located at the top of the part. Now the first thing you're going to want to do is create some boundaries to help contain the toolpath. I've already done that to save some time here. You can see I've created a rectangular boundary and a circular boundary to help keep the toolpath confined exactly where we want it. Let's head over here to the command manager and select model toolpaths. This is going to be available if you have one CNC mill advantage, one CNC mill professional, or one CNC mill expert. We're going to be using the Z level finish command. Now the first thing we want to do is configure our tool parameters. For this example, we're going to be using a 3 8 diameter ball end mill. I'm happy with the speeds and feeds, so I'm going to click next on that. All of our clearance values look good. We'll click next on that. I'm going to use radial approach and that simply means I'm going to arc into the profile and then arc off. And I'm using a radial radius value of 50 thousands. We're going to climb cut. I'll click next on that. For a depth of cut, I have this set at constant depths and I'm using a 10 thousandths depth of cut. We'll click next. We don't need to configure any additional depths of cut, so we'll leave this set to none. We'll click next on that. Now for boundary type, make sure that this is set to picked. The reason for that is we want to be able to pick or select those boundaries that we created. And then down here, this actually contains the toolpath between two Z levels. In this example, the toolpath is going to be contained between Z0 and Z minus 400 thousandths. We'll click finish. And now we can take our cursor and left click both our boundaries and then right hand mouse click. Alright, and there we go. One CNC has created the toolpath. Now let's take this a step further. I'm going to hit the space bar twice. And if we look at our toolpath, you can see how it kind of curled around each one of those edges there. Now if you have one CNC mill expert, we can actually extend our surfaces. To do that, head back over to the command manager. And what you're going to want to select is model operations. From there, use this option called extend a surface. I'm going to extend our surfaces. Well, let's go 300 thousands. I'll click OK. I'm going to take my cursor, hover over the left end of this surface and simply left click. I'm going to do the same over here, but on the right side and left click. And there we go. All right. So now let's go back in here. Right hand mouse click on the machining operation. Repick path. And we can quickly move through the dialog boxes just by clicking next, 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 and finish. One CNC asks us if we want to repick our boundaries. We don't have to do that. We can click no and let one CNC generate the toolpath. Now the toolpath has gone past the part on both sides. All right, that's it for this tip of the day. Thank you so much for watching, and I look forward to seeing you in the next video.